It had zero to do with anything other than a few things came up and nothing of any newsworthy significance. Um, and I apologize for delaying you. I think I may have spoiled you by always being prompt. Um, and I've, I've done that my whole tenure, and I apologize for making you wait, but there was nothing that um, is any way, shape, or form that has anything to do with other than I just had some housekeeping stuff come up, and that was it. The, uh, the move that you made with the lineup um, to, make, to move the leadoff hitter, is, does there come a time, and I know you've thought about it, where a change to the rotation takes place? Yes. Um, I think that's you're, – you've got a chance to see something along those lines at some point sooner rather than later. Um, you know, we have to – excuse me, we have to change our trajectory. Um, and, you know, we're going to have to do something a little bit different. And we've got some things in motion um, to, that we're talking about and thinking about. Um, and don't misinterpret um, – I'm not saying things in motion outside the organization. I'm just saying things in motion that we have internally that we have currently on our roster. Um, you know, back to the lineup, because it's not, you know, look, you know, we, you don't need to be um, Abner Doubleday to figure out that, um, or, or Bill James to figure out that, you know, our pitch has not been good enough. I mean, I look at the numbers and, you know, pretty consistently and look at the bigger picture of it, you know, you know, ironically, since the day Jack went out, you know, when we won a stretch, we went 14 and four, you know, our average starting pitcher went um, six innings and um, had a lower walk rate. You know, since then, the, the record's been not very good and our, including Wayno's outings going deeper in games, our starting pitcher's gone four innings. Um, it's just not a recipe for consistent um, winning baseball. And, you know, there was a time where, you know, in, in Atlanta where KK was throwing well after four, you know, in a doubleheader and we're down and we hit for him because, you know, you got a seven in game, you're in the fifth inning at the home and on the road. And, you know, we had fresh arms and game ended up being one nothing. So, um, but other than that, you know, we've, we've really probably, you know, try to stay with our starter as much as possible and still know that, you know, like tonight, for example, you know, we, Got to three on Homer, you know, he couldn't get through it and keep it at a two one game. Um, and so, um, yes, long answer to your question, we got to do something different on rotation. Um, to segue to the lineup part, Derek, um, I feel like we're in as good a place as we have been in the last three to five, four weeks offensively with um, how we're thinking about approaching our bats. You know, we just got into a rut that um, got us into a very dimensional team. And that dimension and other dimensions worked. You know, we talked about and we won a lot of different games in a lot of different ways the first two months offensively. And we just haven't been able to do that and put together as many consistently quality at bats. And, you know, listen, you know, you can take solace and, you know, at some point we got to build some momentum, right? And so, you know, we can't. The offense momentum night was was not anything that was super sexy, but it was subtle. Um, you know, we start the runner um, with Edmund. You know, Neil gets a second. You know, Newt Bard drives him in. Um, so we kind of create a run there. Um, you know, in the eighth inning, we get two out and Carlson. Nice little base hit the other way. Also had a two-strike, you know, base hit, put the ball in play. Our two-strike approach and consistency of contact needs to improve. Um, and then we got three walks, you know, and then Yachty hit a one hot bullet to Hayes. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of, you know, positive things happened tonight offensively that didn't result in a, a win, but we need to build momentum offensively. And from a pitching standpoint tonight, we were able to build some momentum from an offensive standpoint. You brought it up. So I feel like I asked there, Yachty's response to, getting into that sharp ground wall was notable. And Tommy told us that there was a discussion about how you were been wearing your frustrations on your sleeve. Um, was, what do you think Yachty's reaction kind of said about the level of frustration with the team? And was that double switch going to happen? Oh, yeah, that was happening. I mean, I told him for the inning, if we didn't make a push, he was going to take the bat, we didn't make a push. You know, kids are going to get in there and, and take the ninth and take an inning off of him. 
you know, in a game that was, you know, a little one-sided. You know, as far as the reaction, I'm not sure what you're getting at. Um, you know, he's frustrated. I mean, it, you know, it's, he's, he, <laughs> he's up there in, a, in what is still a big moment, 8-2, to two, with, you know, base hit there, it's 8-4. to four. You know, we get the tie and run to the plate. Um, you know, he wants to deliver. Um, you know, so he had a he had a reaction that he was that showed some frustration because he cares. Um, but I like I liked his at bat because he went down early 0-2 and then you know figured out a way to get a pitch he could handle and put a good swing on it. I don't think there's any more to be said than that.